Hi, I'm Josette Bonafino. I'm the Executive Director of the Multicultural Youth Exchange, and I'm here at the Philadelphia Foundation's Community Art Gallery. I'm here to tell you about the exhibit, Mixing It Up, which is open until January the 20th, 2012. The Multicultural Youth Exchange is an educational nonprofit devoted to diversity and social responsibility education. And we were inspired by the events of 9-11. So this is kind of where it all starts. After the events of 9-11, our main goal was to educate young people about diverse cultures and human commonalities with the intention of avoiding future tragedies like this. This piece called Song of the Wounded Earth was done by students at the Village of Arts and Humanities in North Philadelphia as a reflection on the tragedies of 9-11. This work here was done by a student belonging to the Asian Arts Initiative, which also is a, a grassroots community organization in Philadelphia. The family of a student emigrating from Asia in the 50s and the 60s, assimilating into American culture in the 90s, and then in present day, the student is questioning what is his true identity? Is he really Asian? Is he American? He's trying to figure that out. So you see that we have faceless people here questioning that. This large mural was created in the spring of 2007 as part of a Y Philly initiative. One of our teaching artists went to Istanbul, Turkey and worked with students there creating a Turkish youth identity mural, which then came back to the United States. So that particular year, our students in Philadelphia created work for Turkish students, and Turkish students created work for American students, and we swapped the artwork. We made an installation in Fairmount Park, and the students that participated in it actually made a cultural video about their identity. And at the same time, we had artwork made in Venezuela, Armenia, which was sent to Philadelphia and now hangs in some local schools. We wanted to get beyond this idea of just appreciating diversity and becoming tolerant of one's neighbor. We wanted to infuse this idea of diversity appreciation with social responsibility action, really get students engaged in making a change in their community. And this is a point where we started incorporating service learning in our lesson plans. This was a mural specifically made for a Katrina-affected community in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Students painted it with words of encouragement, words of strength, solidarity with the students in Mississippi, and then Mix shipped this to the school where it now resides. There are millions of girls around the world that cannot go to school because of extreme poverty. When young girls cannot go to school, what happens is they end up getting pregnant at a very young age, and it just continues the cycle of poverty. This work is about the global education crisis. When Nick started 10 years ago, we were, of course, very um, grounded in the visual arts, particularly mural making and quilt making. But as the organization has evolved, we have gotten into digital art making. And most recently, we've been recording digital music with students during summer internship programs. And these are four separate CD covers representing recorded music. The topic for this particular piece was gun violence. So the students wanted to explore how prevalent gun violence is in Philadelphia. They called up city officials, they researched in the media, and what they have here is an homage to fallen police officers in that particular year. This is a piece made by students from Olney High School. We wanted to teach students about the toxic effects of plastic bags on the environment, so we made this quilt at an Earth Force Summit at the Philadelphia Zoo a couple of years ago where students created their quilt panels by fusing plastic bags and also uh, creating yarn out of plastic bags and then weaving them. This piece is called Hope Quilt and was made by students in a summer program, a summer internship program in 2006. The theme behind this piece was stereotypes in North American and South African culture. So during this program, students got to see what happens when females are stereotyped. Uh, problems like domestic violence, rape, poor body image, pregnancy, and in the case of South Africa, because women are treated so stereotypically, it results in the huge spread of AIDS. This was a project that paired middle school students throughout the school district with senior citizens in retirement communities. The idea was that they would get together in pairs and they would swap stories about growing up and they would inform each other about each other's culture. Once each pair of students and seniors 
got to know each other. They then collaborated on a quilt square, fusing each other's stories and culture. The resulting project is this virtual quilt, which combines imagery made by the students and the seniors, as well as audio clips. My name is Lucille Brown. I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I was raised in Philadelphia. And I like to see a smile on people's face. I don't want them looking at me all ugly. My name is Maurice Suggs. I'm from West Philly, and my favorite sport is basketball.